Hey guys, what's up? Zvats here, bringing you a gameplay on Modern Warfare 3. I'm on Dawn, and I'm using the AK-47. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the AK-47 and how it's a pretty strong weapon without the the sights. Uh, it really is. It really is a strong weapon without the sight. Uh, you don't need red dot. You don't need holographic sight. You don't need the ACOG sight. None of the sights. It's actually a strong weapon on its own. All you need is the is the iron sight on the, on, the, on this weapon. And uh, I find it is basically the only weapon that you don't uh, need the uh, the uh, sights. Uh, it, it's actually the only weapon that I th could think of that does worse with sights than without it. You know. Uh, Every time in any of the Call of Duty games that I've played, whether it's Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, or Black Ops, the AK-47 works best without sights. And uh, if I do put a sight, you notice the recoil so bad. It, it, the recoil is really bad. And uh, it, 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 this gun is actually very unique if you really think about it. Uh, so yeah, I recommend not putting a sight on this weapon at all. <clears throat> uh, the best attachment I can think of to put on this weapon is the silencer and the extended mag. Uh, that's about it, because you don't need uh, sights. <laughs> that's basically uh, the point I'm trying to make. Uh, but yeah, it's very strong. It's, it, this weapon's very strong. A lot of people do like this weapon. Uh, I, I d have noticed that some people lately with, um, with, in Model Warfare series that they didn't like the AK-47. Uh, but in my opinion, the AK-47 never did change. It's always been a strong weapon. Uh, you know, it's just the fact that you, if you put a red dot or a holographic sight, uh, you get really bad recoil. Uh, you do get recoil with the iron sight, but for some reason it's more manageable. And um, so that's one of the that's basically the unique thing about this uh, AK-47. Uh, the hit the the hit damage is I think it's still the same as any other Call of Duty game. Uh, you know, it's, I don't know, it's just a really good weapon. I really do like it, and I I put this but uh, excuse me, I put this weapon. And one of my class setup, so you know it's really good to have. Uh, so yeah, um, lately I've been noticing a lot. I'm definitely an assault rifle guy. Uh, right now, my class setup, I only have eight class setups, and I only have two two classes that are SMGs, and that is the PP90 and the MP7. Uh, you know, a unique thing about the MP7 and the PP90, a lot of people say they are overpowered, and they might be right. They, they, those two guns are the best in the game uh, for the SMG class. Uh, but I never had a problem being killed by those weapons, you know, uh, which is weird. I, I Lately, a lot of... Uh, that I've seen on YouTube where people are complaining about the MP7 being overpowered or like and it, it comes to my opinion that uh, the Call of Duty uh, community are, are basically a bunch of whiners and that's for a different topic on a different day uh, about Call of Duty community that there are a bunch of whiners and you know I do have my problems with the game but I think they're more legit than just complaining about overpowered weapon. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I could say about this AK-47. I think it's a really good weapon. Uh, I, for me, it, it hasn't changed at all. Uh, j just the fact that it's harder to use uh, a sight. I mean, I know in the other Call of Duty, you can use the sight, but in this one, nah, and you don't really need it. Uh, whew. 
we're getting close to the end here. My team do, do lose in this game, but I thought I did pretty well in this game. Uh, you know, I died the least out of my teammates, I think. Uh, but I, I enjoy this game, and um, lately, you know, I try and not to rage, and it's the things I've been working on is are working very well. Uh, don't really rage as much as I used to in this game. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please leave a comment. And if you haven't done so and you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.